welcome back to my video. My name's Michelle and you're watching Real Life with Michelle where right now I'm telling bus driver stories. Things that happened to me on the road. I was a bus driver for 20 years and believe me I've had many 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 things happen on the road that that were just some of them funny, some of them scary, some of them you know just stories. I got so, I got stories. One day I was, it was the first day of school for kindergarten and I was bringing this little kindergarten boy home and he didn't know where he lived and I didn't, for some reason I didn't have his address but the teacher said he is supposed to go on your bus. Alright, well we'll figure this out. So he got on my bus and I calmed him down and it's like, oh it's okay, I'll get you home. So I drop all my kids off and this little boy is still with me. He didn't see his house along the road. He didn't. He didn't know where he lived. So I knew he actually. I actually knew he lived on a certain street. I, I did know that. The teacher did tell me that. So I drove up and down this street, and the little boy couldn't find his house. And I'm like, well, it's okay. Don't cry. We'll, we'll get there. Don't, it, it's okay. I'll get you home to your mom and dad. You don't need to worry. So I asked him. I said, well, what color is your house? Blue. Okay. So we drove up and down the road again looking for a blue house and there's absolutely no blue houses on this street. None. None. So the little boy starts to cry and I'm like, listen, it'll be okay. I'll find your mom. I, I'll get you home. So up and down the street again and finally I see this lady come out of the house and she's like, do you have my son? Yes, I have your son. I do have your son. Little boy's happy. He sees his mom and I said, listen. He kept telling me his house was blue. What? I, your house isn't blue. She said, oh, we just painted his bedroom blue. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So the kid has a blue bedroom. Nice. So lesson learned, people. Teach your, kid your, teach your kids the address of your house. Another one. I was, I always, I had a radio on my school bus. And the kids always liked to listen to the radio on the way home. They would bring me tapes and cassettes and different you know songs and appropriate songs they had to be appropriate songs so one day I was taking the kids home and I had already dropped off half the kids and a song comes on the radio a dancing song comes on the radio and there's a kid in the back of my bus he just starts moving he's moving and then he just can't sit still he's moving so now now he stands up in the aisle and they know nobody's you're not supposed to stand up on a moving bus he stands up in the aisle and he's dancing. He just starts dancing, singing and dancing. And I'm looking at him and there's no way in the world I could tell this kid to sit down because he was too excited about the song that came on the radio. So we were out up in the allotments, no big deal. I could stop, there's no traffic. So what did I do? I stopped, popped the brake in the bus, put it in you know, neutral, popped the brake, stopped the bus and I just I stood up and watched him dance and we were clapping and he, he was just dancing up. He ended up up down the aisles. He was up by me and he was just dancing all in the aisles. When the song was over, he sat down and we, we moved Another on. Story. My daughters drove rode my school bus. Lucky them. I was their bus driver. So we didn't live in the school district. So I would they would come to work with me in the morning. So at 6.30 in the morning, we'd load up the car with all the kids and the book bags and the coats and everything we needed to do. I would go around and park in the front of the school. My bus was in the back of the school. So I would leave the kids in the car in the front. They were old enough to, they were old enough to, for me to leave them up there. So I'd leave them up there with the keys, the car running, they could listen to the radio. I was only gone like 20 minutes maybe. Go back, get my bus. Well this one day, I got in my bus, pulled out of my garage, went around the school, went around the parking lot, and I kept going kept going and then I got to my first stop and I'm thinking I forgot my kids I, I left my kids in my running car in the parking lot I forgot my kids <laughs> well, luckily luckily a good very good 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 friend of mine hadn't left the garage yet in her bus so I radioed her and I'm like um can you pick up my kids and she's like well where are they and I said Mm, I forgot them. I left them in the car. <laughs> she, I 
everybody on the radio is laughing and I'm like, yeah, I, I forgot my kids. So she picked them up and they got to school okay. And when I saw them that evening, they're like, mom, you forgot us. I know, sorry, sorry, I, I did forget you. And I'm really sorry about that. So anyway, if you wanna come back for more bus driver funny videos, give me a like, subscribe, Hit that little notification bell so you can get more of these fun videos because I got a lot of stories to tell and who knows what I'll film next. So come back, come back for more. Bye.